delicious Singapore hawker food in Clementi. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. We're still in Clementi to try some barbecue meats, a plate of noodles, flat rice noodles, a rojak, a mixture of everything, and some western food. So join me at block 448 Clementi Avenue 3 as I eat my way through this place here. So let's get going and let's get eating. We are back at Block 448 Clementu Avenue 3 Food Center. And if you don't know how to get here, you should refer to the previous video. It will give you a detailed description of how to get here. And let's continue our food adventure here at this food center. Okay, first of all, if you come here during late afternoon to evening, early evening time, you'll notice there's a long queue at the edge here and the queue gets longer with the time closer to dinner time the queue gets longer and it's for this place here called Chai Ho Sate as you can see the queue is already quite long and that's the shop itself so I'm actually uh, at the end of the queue waiting for the to order my food so not only do they sell satay, they also sell dried pork or sweet meats and pork floss. So it's 42 cents for one satay and for the rice cake or ketupat, it's 60 cents. Okay, so what I ordered was I ordered five pork, five chicken, which cost me 420 and one ketupat, which cost me 60 cents. So here is the satay itself. Okay, let's talk about the satay sauce. I really, really like the satay sauce because it's very nice and thick and peanutty. And when you actually dip your satay into the sauce itself, the peanut sauce actually coats and adds in an additional layer of satay sauce onto your satay itself. So it's very good sauce. And then the satay okay. the chicken satay i think because of the cut of meat it is a bit tough but the pork satay here is also really good the pork satay is a bit soft and also has a nice flavor to it and also look at the char edges so this satay has been done very very well and it's a very good satay and also very cheap 42 cents for one satay sticks. It's one of the cheaper satays I've eaten in Singapore. Next up is this shop here called Hee Hock. And they actually cook noodles or, or rice dishes for you. So the version of rice and noodles dishes, they cook it together with a starchy sauce. What I ordered from here is actually their beef ho fun, which cost me $4.50. Okay, here's the dish itself. The portion itself is nice and it's quite generous. Uh, the beef here and the noodles here are pre-cooked. Okay, so they will plate it and then the person there will actually cook the sauce nice and hot and then put it onto the ingredients. Uh, unfortunately, the beef itself is a bit is actually overcooked and a bit tough but the noodles the noodles are i really like the noodles here the noodles are actually nice and smooth and when you bite when you bite to eat it sticks down your throat very very nicely the sauce itself is okay it's a bit it's quite flavorful but not as flavorful as i would have liked it to be 
and unfortunately the noodles itself doesn't have much of the wok hay or the breath of the wok smell. Overall, the sauce itself does a good job of uh, giving flavour to the noodles itself but unfortunately like I said the beef pieces were overcooked and a bit tough uh, but the noodles itself is nice and soft. It's, I really like the noodles uh, which nice smooth silky mm. that was good anyway if you like beef for fun um, the noodles here are really good maybe you try it with the sliced fish maybe the sliced fish will be better now we are going to another shop here which is called Pondok Abang okay, it's one of the shops here at this small little row of uh, Malay food shops or uh, halal food shops so what I ordered from here is ayam penyet this ayam penyet cost me 550 uh, and I also take away I actually quite like this ayam penyet First of all, they give you quite a good, big, quite a nice piece of chicken, which even though I took it home, it's a bit uh, not as crispy as it should be, but it's still a very nicely seasoned um, piece of chicken, and also crispy if it wasn't uh, cold, and also the sambal chili. The sambal chili here is spicy and shock, so you eat it together with the chicken and rice. Very very nice. Look at that. Ooh. Really, really good. And surprisingly, this cost me 550 and I find it quite worth it for the price. Also a bit of uh, tofu and tempeh. Overall, if you like ayam pingit, this is a good ayam pingit to try. Okay, so that is over, here, over there in the distance. It's actually block 448. Uh, food center where we tried all the food okay just beside it is block 449 and at the edge of block 449 is another coffee shop okay so this is the block 449 coffee shop here and at one end of this coffee shop as you can see there's a queue uh, forming up here not a very long queue but there's a queue here there are people ordering from this shop called uh, Brothers uh, Rojak. The pricing you can see there, 350 is the cheapest one. What I ordered was 450 and the Rojak. This is the Singapore style fruits Rojak. Which you see here. This one cost me 450 and this is one of the better Rojaks I've eaten so far. Look at that digging the prawn paste sweet prawn paste sauce he puts a lot of that he coats all the different ingredients very nicely there is cucumber there is pineapple then there is the deep fried um, dough sticks then they have tau pok which is the deep fried tau fu then lots and lots of crunched peanuts okay and the sauce itself somehow in the sauce itself when you eat the sauce you can actually bite into the granules of sugar so it gives you a bit of crunchiness to that and somehow that goes very well together with the deep fried dough overall here i find it this is one of the better rojas i've eaten so far uh, comparable to the top three i've eaten so i may have to upgrade my top three list for my rojak soon but overall this is a really really good rojak if you're in the east area you're here during lunch time you have to come here and try this rojak. If not, I say you're missing out a good food experience. A very, very good rojak. Extremely good. We are back again at Clementi MRT station. And this time during the evening time, because we're going to try a different place. Okay, so once you get out of the, M uh, out of the gantry, okay. We are actually at Clementi MRT station now on the east-west line. We're heading towards exit B. 
So once you get out the gantry, walk straight, then you turn right. Okay, once you turn right, there's a flight of stairs going up. Take the stairs up and cross the overhead bridge. Okay, once you reach the end, you keep walking straight because in front of you is a, a covered sheltered walkway. So just keep walking along the sheltered walkway and keep walking straight. Okay, beside you will be a car park and in the distance you will see that under one of the blocks there's actually a coffee shop okay. so that is the shuttle walkway okay. so we keep walking all the way to the end of the shuttle walkway until we reach this coffee shop at block 325 this is block 325 uh, evening time which is around when I came to actually eat eat the western food So here's the shop itself. At one corner of the shop is this place here called Big Bites. And they sell Western food at with better ingredients at affordable prices. Okay, so I actually came here twice, once to eat the steak and one to eat a fish and chips. Okay, here's the menu itself with the pricing. You can actually zoom in to see the pricing if you want. Okay, so for my steak, ribeye steak, which cost me $16.90. And then the fish and chips, which cost me eight fifty. This is the steak itself. Okay, and you also can choose uh, two sides. Okay, for me, I chose onion rings and mashed potato. The steak itself was okay. Uh, for sixteen ninety, uh, you cannot really um. Okay, it will not be as good as steaks that you eat at those high end. Uh, restaurants where you pay $50, $70, $100 for a steak but for a uh, $60.90 this is a quite a good portion of steak and also quite affordable quite cheap actually for $60.90 and here is the, the steak itself I ordered a medium rare as you can see it's still quite bloody inside I would have preferred it a slightly less bloody but still a very affordable steak and at a very cheap price. Next is the fish and chips which cost me $8.50. This time it came with corn and a uh, french fries. Okay. First of all, look at the portion of fish. It's huge and the batter they put on it is nice and crispy and the fish inside there is so tender that when you put it in your mouth it almost disintegrates it's a very very good piece of fish and the fries are done well uh, the corn was okay you know, salad normal but what I felt they did very very well was the fish itself the fish delicious uh, melts in your mouth very nice delicious so if you like fish and chips or you like affordable western food with a better quality ingredients this is the place you have to come to to eat it we sure have gone through many places in Clementi here to eat our foods for our food adventure and it was fun and there was lots of good foods and it was worth it to come here so I hope you enjoyed the food adventure with me and for those of you who want to uh, you can actually uh, like share and subscribe my content and you need to click the notification bell if you want to get the latest information about my channel and the most important thing don't forget to join me for my next food adventure and don't forget to click the notification bell too thank you very much and bye bye